I'm coming around here. I have the uh, I have the uh, wall hopter head uh, uh, mounted on this uh, Morris More Speed uh, radio drill. You see, let's go. Here it is. Here, okay. And uh, I got some forty feet here. There you go. Well, it's got a Morse taper shank, and uh, I'm going to have a safety pin up into the uh, tang. This, uh, with this cutting bar on here, weighs about uh, almost 25 pounds, uh, but this uh, drill weighs 6,000. And what you can do, once you drill a hole, you can bore a hole, you can face, you can, you can make an extension go through the hole and back face. You can uh, cut O-ring grooves or uh, snap ring grooves in a hole. You can, do, you can do some operations that would take uh, a large lathe. Now this head is a 5 inch and it'll face uh, a 10 inch circle. But with an extension bar like this on there, uh, I think this will face easily a 15 inch circle. There's one of my homemade cutters right there. I make on the tool and cutter grinder. Uh, what, what I was doing with this on another machine, I was facing a flange to a shoulder. And, uh, that, and I was uh, cutting on the back side, the head's feeding like that, you know, of course spinning in this direction. So I thought I'd show that. Uh, one of the reasons I'm putting it on this drill press, uh, I, I checked out the movements on this drill press, and uh, when you lock them down, it doesn't influence. It's not pulling around. So I'll, I'll be able to uh, tram this machine in and be able to, you know, within reasonable accuracy, spot holes, bore them, and all kinds of machine operations. So, so we got about a 25 pounds head swinging on a 6,000 pound machine. You know, that sounds like a lot of fun, doesn't it? Okay, well I'm going to pack this head away and uh, finish the work I have to do on this drill press, but uh, I, I'm kind of impressed with uh, this little head sitting on this little drill press. Okay. <laughs>